Hi there. Happy weekend. Just you're doing well. Alright, so I'll be doing a podcast. How to sell yourself on the digital space in bracket social media. In 2022, April precisely, I did the first edition of this podcast. If you have not watched the podcast or listened to it, then you must rush to Mr. Neil Amuda YouTube channel to watch and listen all I have to say on that podcast. Before I continue, I would want to appreciate Mr. Nii Amuda for giving me the platform to do this. Thank you very much, sir, and God bless you. So last year, I did a podcast on how to sell yourself on the social media space. And it's been one year and some months. When I did that podcast last year, I was just... 1k followers on my LinkedIn as at today, October to be precise, 7th. I am 4,000 plus followers on LinkedIn. So I just want to do a podcast, you know, as at when I did the podcast and as at now, it has been a journey of learning on learning and relearning a lot of things have been you know put in place i've learned new things and i would like to share that with you so i want you to go first listen to the podcast before you actually listen to this one so what am i going to be talking about today how to stay consistently on your social media platform how to stay consistently on your social media platform now how you could actually stay consistent on your social media platform is you must realize what you are actually coming to do on the social media space this is the 21st century and even by looking at it we are almost going to the 22nd century and a lot of things are coming into the digital world there is rise in knowledge rise in technology rise in innovation rise in invention and all of those things you must realize that if you want to make headway in this 21st century then you must be very 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 important you must take important your social media platform today we have so many social media platform from the likes of facebook x which is now um, twitter which is now x linkedin yes trades and all of those things you must realize what you are actually doing there now i'll be taking a case study for linkedin linkedin is actually a professional app in fact people regard linkedin as one of the most serious app in the world like <laughs> the people that come on linkedin they don't laugh, they don't smile, they don't banter people. It's just what you come to do there, your niche and all of those things. You get what I'm trying to say? But you could actually make headways on LinkedIn. You could actually make headways on Facebook. You could actually make headways on X and all of those social media platforms. You must be consistent. For example... Let's cite an example. You have a whole lot of dish dishes to do. When I mean dishes, like plates to wash, you have a whole lot of dishes to do. And me looking at it, it can be discouraging. Yeah, the, the, the dish is a whole lot, a whole lot of plates that ranges from pots, plates, flags. You looking at it, you might be discouraged. Oh, how am I going to start this a whole lot and all of those things? But you could actually start first. You could start first. You realize when you start, you watch the first one, you watch the second one, you watch the third one. This happened to me even at my place of work. I had a portion of stuff to wash, and it was a whole lot. I was even tired, you know, had a long day at work coming to wash the stuff and all of those things. But you realize when I started washing it, at the long run, 
before you know you're done so it's also applicable on our social media platform consistently you just have to start from somewhere by the time you see you start from here day one day two you show up and you showing up you must lend your voice on a particular stuff you must lend your voice on a particular stuff i had to introduce myself here i am baba tunde shola an entrepreneur a student and i gave into science right so you must lend your voice on a particular stuff what are you coming to sell on linkedin what are you coming to sell on facebook what are you coming to sell on x you must not post about this today and tomorrow you post about another thing no it doesn't work that way because when people start picturing you your impression the algorithm will help you you know when you talk about a particular thing the algorithm will help you motion you in the line of you know okay finance on linkedin the algorithm will help you put your post in line with financial you know post on linkedin so when people type finance they could see your post there and all of those things you get what i'm trying to say so you must be consistent you must be consistent what am i trying to say you must be consistent on your social media platform because when you are not consistent when you show up today tomorrow you show up okay when you show up today next week you show up three weeks after you show up and you get what i'm trying to say you would not actually make headway you would not actually make headway so you must be consistent on your social media platform by doing so you are going to find out that the algorithm is going to help you and you would have great impression a whole lot of people will be looking up to you a whole lot of people will be checking out on your post a whole lot of people will be you know okay let me give you an example for myself i talk about you know how to break out of masturbation you know victims of sexual abuse rape and all of those things i've been consistently talking about this from 2021 on my linkedin platform and i've been talking about it 2021 2022 and we are at 2023 so you now see i've been consistent for three years on a particular subject matter you get what i'm trying to say i've been consistent on a particular subject matter for three good years and it has been helping me it was just last year i told you that i had 1k followers on linkedin and this is 2023 i have 4k followers plus counting in fact, there's a young man and I envy so much, which you call the Elumelu boy. He has a whole lot of followers. Your own, you know, your own running cannot be the same way he is. He has almost over 100,000 followers following him. Well, would that discourage me? No, because everybody is running an individual race, even on LinkedIn, even on WhatsApp. No, oh, WhatsApp is not included. Even on, you know, uh, TikTok yeah even on facebook even on x so you get what i'm trying to say you must be consistent there are a whole lot of things you need to know about the social media it has a hack the hack of facebook is different from the hack of linkedin let me give you an example on facebook you can banter right on facebook you could actually share violence post and you know post that accompanies nudity but that does not happen on linkedin in fact if you go to the search and type sexual you know content or whatever you would see one or you would not actually see any i stand to be corrected you don't actually see any form of nudity content and all of those things but you must understand that you must understand that you are selling something on the social media platform and you must stand your ground to make headway all of these companies you see today standing they did not actually arrive where they are in a planter of you know in a blink of eyes 
or in a twinkle of an eyes it was consistency from this step to this step to this step okay i remember also on the first edition of the podcast i talked about how that you know coca-cola came to nigeria and it was then head of state um what's his name again um yakubo gohan i think yakubo gohan is still alive so yakubo gohan and then he entered a deal with coca-cola i told them for every bottle they sell in nigeria you will just have 10 percent of the commission you get what i'm trying to say okay for example let's say a bottle of coke is 100 naira or 100 dollars right so 10 percent can be 10 naira or 10 dollars so the first year coca-cola just sold 50 bottles in Nigeria as at today everybody is drinking coca-cola in Nigeria in fact I have a friend here there is no time he would want to eat he would not accompany it with coca-cola so you see now presently coca-cola is selling for 40 million bottles a day in Nigeria and you could see that Yakubo Gowan is making a whole lot of money. Now, you see, it started from, you know, journey of 10% of just, you know, 40 bottles. And it went on and went on and went on. So I was saying the journey of consistency is not an easy way, but you must be determined. You must focus. Like, you must focus. And whilst you focus... You must have a role model that you look up to. Someone that you look up to. Someone that you watch his or her life from afar. Yeah. For the ladies, we have the then former um, manager of the um, First Bank, which is Professor Ibuku Awoshika. And also for the guys too. We have someone like, you know, Dr. Sam Adeyemi. We have someone like Mr. Tony Elumelu. There are a whole lot of people you could look up to. Looking back on their life, you having a flashback on their life, you would realize that it didn't start this way. It didn't start this way. They, 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 they did not arrive where they are, <laughs> you know, just by, you know, a blink of an eye. It was consistent and they had what they want to sell they were talking about one thing if you look at dr sam adeyemi's life you could just pick out one thing a mental transformation coach a mental transformation coach if you look at mommy ibuku awoshika's life you could just pick out one thing a lady par excellence and if you look at Mr. Tony Illuminous life, you could see tranquility. You could see a high level of leadership strength. So over the years, they have stand on this and they have sound their voice in a way and manner that consistency have way out resistance. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So in your journey of consistency on your social media platform, you must be determined. You, everything I have to say here, you must first listen to the first edition of my podcast. I say that, you know, I remember I actually said that because you post and you don't have likes and comments, you should not be discouraged. A dear mentor of mine, my father, Papa Oluwa Tobiloba Oshubi was saying something. And I took that to heart. He said that... If you have one person that believes in you, you have too much. Wow. Just one person. Over 8 billion people we have in the earth right now. And I just have only one person that believes in me. I have too much. So I begin to sit down with myself and begin to ponder on these things. Right? I begin to ponder on this wise thing. And I found out that the scripture says, you know, 
one shall chase ten thousand. No one shall chase um a thousand and two shall chase ten thousand. I said, Wow. And now looking at what my dear mentor have said, if you have one person that believes in your vision, in your assignment, in your platform, you have too much. Wow. So you should not be discouraged if you have likes, if you not be discouraged if the algorithm did not take your post viral. But you must be consistent. People are watching, people are seeing you. They are taking notice of you. You know, when I just started on LinkedIn, I was so confused. 2021, it was in my school, Federal Polytechnic, either. You know, I was in a team of an actors then. And they said, okay, an actor student, you guys should have a LinkedIn platform. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm a very inquisitive person. I love, I am, I'm jaded by leadership strength, leadership tax, and all of those things. So I took my phone. I was using a Technopovo phone then. I took my phone, you know go to the play store download linkedin and i've been writing on facebook consistently since 2018 i've been writing on facebook so my post on facebook i will copy it go on, on linkedin and post i found out that i was not making headway like i was so discouraged like i will see a post that i'll, I'll post and you know speaking that post should have so many likes and comments but at the end of the day, I'll come back to the post and look. I would not see a like and comment. Wow. I'll be discouraged. Until I saw a post about a young guy. He's a young nurse. I would not mention his name, but he's on LinkedIn. I started watching him. I started seeing how he posts. And I sit down with myself. I said, if I could actually follow this young man, I could actually make a headway. So I now look, what is actually missing? Where is my strength? Where is my giftedness? I begin to look, I begin to look, I begin to look. I said, wow, yes, I'll talk against masturbation, rape, sexual assault, victim of nostalgia, and all of those things. So I began to post. <laughs> I remember one of the posts I made about, you know, uh, masturbation. The algorithm was fair to me. It actually gave me, recently this year, it actually gave me a 22,000 impression. So I am talking about my testimony, just like to encourage you. The goal is not self-centeredness, but it's just to encourage you, just to show you that how I started from my journey of 1K followers to 4,000 followers. I'll be coming on another um, section, another podcast to do that to you. But yeah, now you just have to listen to this right my journey of 1k followers to 4,000 followers i will be coming on another podcast section to do that but for now you just have to listen to this right so linkedin actually gave me the leverage right of allowing my post to go viral like the algorithm and that day i actually have 22,000, you know um impression and i said there is a problem <laughs> the world has a problem and and one of the major problem of the world is sex right people are you know hide under sex to leverage a whole lot of things people people kick against me people say that I'm, I'm stupid on the comment section i didn't actually reply because i was not ready to banter people i just left it there do what i have to do and left it there people were saying yeah thank you for standing the ground i don't even know that posts like this exist on linkedin and there's a whole lot of dollars there's a whole lot of million dollars if you actually venture on that do you get what i'm trying to say you must understand that the journey of consistency way out resistance. Let me give you a trick. Let me give you a trick. So you see now, when I actually open my LinkedIn, I actually left my Facebook. I concentrating on my LinkedIn, focused on my LinkedIn, and the results are inevitable. The results are good. But on my Facebook, I noticed that I have low turnouts. 
but i'm not shaken i'm not moved because i know that i have concentrated on one particular spot and leave the other so it's also applicable you must know how to balance this stuff you must know how to balance your social media platform how can you balance your social media platform create a timetable create a roster how that you will show up on facebook today show up on linkedin tomorrow show up on x next tomorrow show up on tiktok on friday and all of those things don't actually focus on one and leave the other try to balance the equation i'm still looking for my strength to balance my equation on my facebook i believe i'll actually balance that but i'm saying it to you up front and i'm saying it to myself also look for an avenue to balance your social media platform from your facebook to your linkedin to your x to your tiktok to your trades the world is going digitalized and we are actually in a time where artificial intelligence is taking all over the world and in the next five years everything will be digitalized i'm saying this up front in the next five years everything will be digitalized you will see a whole lot of things happening a whole lot of innovation a whole lot of invention and a whole lot of things so you cannot afford to be in 1962 maybe in the 19th century while we're in the 21st century you would not make headway okay i was seeing a movie recently and a lady went to her father to give her her work and her father had complained to her saying you know i can't see these visual things you guys are always doing i need a paperwork and i was laughing i said oh, this man is actually in the 19th century he doesn't understand what is you know applicable in the 21st century and i understand that for them because he's actually elderly and you know his time is actually going this is the time of the youth this is the time of innovation this is the time of invention so you must be very practical on what you do you must be very you know you must like you must focus you must be determined on what you are doing do you get what i'm trying to say how to be consistent on your social media network above all god is the maker of all of these things if you by chance are here listening to this podcast you have made an important decision in your life i'm certain that you are one that is shared on your social media platform and I trust that you are actually a believer. But I appreciate you for listening. And I'm not going to go without saying this to you. If you have not given your life to Christ, then you are making the biggest mistake of your life. You must be born again. You say this short prayer with me, Lord Jesus. I come before you now. Forgive me of my sins. Rewrite my name in the book of life. Erase my name in the book of hell. And give me peace. For you that have been born again. And then you have actually backslidden. Or you've erred. It is time to rededicate yourself back to God. Say, Father, help me. Heal my heart. Heal my heart. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. So I appreciate you for listening to this podcast. And I pray as you listen to this podcast, you have so much understanding to learn and assimilate all I've been saying. Let's just say a short prayer now. Lord Jesus, help us to rightly posture ourselves. Even as we are about to take a new step, a new revolution on our social media platform. Help us to stay consistent on our social media platform. Strengthen our soul. Thank you very much. If you listen to this podcast and this bless you, please use the comment section 
and you know say what you learned you know say what stood out for you and if you also listen to this podcast i want to be sure you actually listen to the first edition so i would appreciate you you see all of those things right on the comment section like follow and i want to appreciate mr niyamuda for giving me the opportunity to do this thank you very much sir god bless you i love you so follow like this youtube and subscribe because i'll be meeting you some other time thank you very much thank you very much i love you stay safe hi there 